Hello, I'm Bood, and welcome to episode 24 of The Scarf My Father Wore. That rhymes. Uh, as always, thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And you're going to have to strap yourself in. Honestly, make a brew. Everything's rhyming. New brew. Check me out today. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. So, yeah, strap yourself in. Because this episode could be pretty good. It could also be heartbreakingly shit. It might not even be the last episode of the season. You never know how these things are going to go. I didn't think we'd lose against Middlesbrough, but we did. So, I think I've teed it up nicely. I think it could be amazing. It could be amazing. So, let's stop chatting. Let's get out of the office. Let's get down to the pitch. Let's play some football. Let's check in with a few games. And this is the very first game after the last uh, defeat in the other episode. And you obviously saved it. Went back to work. So, maybe the old save trick worked. And we bounce back with a victory. Uh, a lot of you agree with me with my conspiracy theory. And I've talked to a lot of people about it within the community. And it is a thing. Saving can send your form good or bad. So try it out. If you're on a bad run. But you think I've got good players. And I've got a good tactic. Save it. Uh, don't, but don't just save it. Save it and turn it off. And turn it back on. Because sometimes I think that does something. It's weird isn't it. Um, so anyway we bounce back with a victory. 2-1. Munier and Myers getting us the goals. But then after this, yeah, we didn't we didn't win for a bit. In fact, we drew with Portsmouth, Brentford and Cardiff. A 1-1 and then two nil nilers. So I was a bit worried. Uh, but then we went away to Blackburn. Good team. And we won Munier on the score sheet. We played really well, but so did they. This, this if, as a neutral, it, you'd say it should have been a draw. But we needed these points. We needed the freaking points so badly. We then drew with West Ham 2-2, big club, big game, good point. And then we won. This is our last game I've played against Swansea, uh, Mr. Hunter getting us a goal early on. Pretty even game to be fair, we just did well defensively. Um, but how are we doing? Well, the season is definitely is not over. It's not over and we're top of the league, which is great. Mr. Munier is no longer the leading goal scorer, some dude from uh, West Ham. Mr. Boxall is no longer the best player, it's that dude from West Ham um, but we are top of the league but by two points with two games <sighs> left to play so 92 points we're four points away from Brentford so obviously we could drop out of the top two and go into the playoffs hence me saying this could not, maybe not be the last episode of the season we're going to play two live comps today the last two games because I just thought it would be a nice thing to do I've never done anything like that before and um, we could hopefully win the league together get promoted together or balls it up together i'm a bit nervous i am a bit nervous uh, but we could drop that into the playoffs which would tee up another fantastic bloody playoff drama episode but if i'm honest i want to win the league we've been top of the league pretty much all year so if we go to the home page you'll see we're going to be playing preston first at home and then birmingham away so if mr llama fm llama is watching we're going to be playing your boys uh mr fm llama go and check him out I'll try and remember to put a link to his channel down below. Great guy, lovely fellow, a uh, great content creator, quite new, um, but I think he's got a big future. So yeah, we're going to play these boys away. Um, a bit of a gap between them as well, so we should have a rest. I'm, I'm well nervous. Why am I so nervous? I feel freaking well nervous. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this, because obviously we, we worked our way up, didn't we? And then ever since they're here, look, we've been pretty much top all year. We've dipped out a second now and again. But I think if anyone deserves to finish top, it's us because we've been there for the majority of the season. Now, of course, finances aren't bad. You see for yourself, we've got just shot of six mil. So, you know, we haven't lost a lot this year. We've done quite well. Obviously, we lost a player for a million quid. That helped. Um, if we get into the Premier League, no idea what I'll do. Signing players-wise, I'm hoping I can pick up some good freebies. Keep a couple of the guys, bring some good loans in. And battle. Uh, even if we went up or went down, it'd be fine. I don't think I've ever been relegated on YouTube. So that'd be new. Um, but you know, you never know, do you? You never know with Football Manager. And you never know with this tactic of mine. People ask about it all the time, and it's been available for a very long time, especially since St. Etienne, the rebuild. And I've done Dundee United since then. The only thing it's not been available on is Barcelona because I changed it a bit and I couldn't be asked uploading it again. But if you go in any description of any of my videos since St. Etienne, You'll find it, and like I say, it's not perfect, but I like it. I like it. Um, if you can better it, try, and then let me know and send it me. Now, this is our squad arranged by Vidratin, and unfortunately, our leading goal scorer, Manuel Munier, 
uh, is injured. He's only out for four days. He's hopefully be back for Birmingham. Clive Lloyd's out for nearly two weeks, potentially. Um, but we're doing all right, to be fair. We are doing all right. Um, now, I did lose a player. And I forgot to tell you about it. Tottenham took Fernandez back. And they've put him in their first team. And he's played about one game. So, we've lost Fernandez, who was a superstar, as we know. We've lost Smith for a million quid and ain't got Munier. So, it's not great. But it's, it's given players like Stanek, who's not done the best, a chance to play. Um, we've still got Hunter, who does a job. Kadeem Harris has got a few games out of it. You've just got to soldier through. And I feel like that. A lot of this season, we've soldiered through, battled through with no money. With a ragtag squad of misfits and loans and freebies and we're top of the league so i'm really really proud it's one of my best achievements i think so can we do it should we just get into it should we just get playing these games and let's try and win a league so welcome to edgeley park and yeah i've got a good team out there good back four good midfield good goalkeeper uh turner's obviously playing now he's back from injury and he's fit he's just not match fit so hopefully that won't hinder him i'd like him to score for you live in a live com that'd be pretty cool um, obviously Preston here, we should be beating these. I mean, we should be, shouldn't we? So here we go. And of course, we're wearing our new kit. I showed you in the last episode, courtesy of FM uh, Kit Design. It's a, a special NHS themed kit. But like I said, the detail is amazing. Um, honestly, you'll find a link to him, his Twitter, in the description. Now, he'll do you a kit. I think he asked for a donation, but it's got to be realistic. But we're sending a lad 20 pence. Do, do a deal with him and... You know, give him a good amount, good amount of money, and I swear to God, the investment's worth it. If you like that extra detail in your game, the detail he puts in is amazing. You want to see? He's just done the zebra kit for United, you know, the third kit, the zebra one. I love it, and it's perfect. <gasps> oh God, I thought I was going to float into the top corner. All right here come Preston. Quite a lot going on. Early doors, to be fair. This kid looks all right, doesn't he? Not giving the ball away, is he? Oh, there he is. There you go. Oh, one on one. Here we go. Brilliant save, McGee. Legend. Come on, lads. Come on. Let's get him on the break. Yeah, but we are lacking that little bit of extra summer. Having Fernandez and Munier in their pomp is when we are we, we were great. But Tottenham taking him back. If anything, I took Boxall back because he's from Spurs as well. He must have had an injury or something and just needed him because he's, he's a fringe player. When you go on his profile, it just says fringe player. Such a shame. Because he should be here now trying to win a title with us. Because I, I bet you if you asked him, that's where he'd want to be. Well, not the most exciting first half. It is pretty even, to be fair. Uh, I'm just going to give him an ass kick here when he goal. So I'm pretty sure Fulham have scored. Yeah, Fulham are winning 1-0. Um, oh, this is fun, this, isn't it? It is pretty fun. So we are actually top still. Even if it stays like this. But then it goes into the last game. Come on, Middlesbrough. So I am excited. If we get to the Premier League, it is exciting because you do make a fortune. You make an absolute fortune. Oh, brilliant. There you go. That's what we want. Willie Liddington. Great name. Seriously, can't we? Come on, don't bottle it. And there they are again. Brilliant. Penalty. Brilliant. Wow, this is a uh, turn around quickly, isn't it? Computer heard me talking about. Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again. Right, come on, lads. Do we make a change? I ain't got too much on the bench, to be fair. Let's see what happens after this highlight. Box all to Dreyer. Come on, get it forward. Let's show them what we can do. We're top, top, top of the league. Nice pass. Finds Nichols. Oh, can Hunter pick it up? Turn around and cross it back in. No, is it hitting someone's ghoulies? He's ended up getting it back somehow. Crosses it in. There's his flag under offside. For fuck's sake. Right, throw in Clark here to take it. It's found Turner. Back to Clark. Turner, get in the box. You me striker, mate. Okay, made two changes. We've got Robinson Stanick on, new mid central midfield, then a new right winger. Jesus. It's going to go down the last game, isn't it? Especially if... Well, going to really go down the last game because we've just lost an extra point, haven't we? Jesus Christ. This is not good, is it? Episode 25 could be a playoff drama again. Just what we need. Just what we need. Well, there you go. At home, against a team I thought we'd batter. We got beat 1-0. Bottle jobs. Well, we've bottle jobbed it in a way of maybe we're not going to win the title, but that was enough for us to get promoted. So we are going to the Prem. Happy days. The money's coming in. It's going to be insane amounts of money. 
I can't wait. That's quite exciting. Hopefully we can get a new owner who will invest a bit more money. Maybe we can invest in the club because we are... Stockport County, that squad and the facilities we've got in the Premier League. Come on, let's be realistic. It's a bit crazy. And you think, where are we going to be going? Stadiums like Manchester United. You know what I mean? Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham. Well, here we are. And we are, of course, away at Birmingham, who are mid-table. Fulham play it, switch you down the bottom. Are they going to play for? They're relegated, aren't they? No, they're not. They've got everything to play for. So I know they're down the bottom. But hopefully they've got some fighting spirit in them, eh? I mean, Jesus, 21st. Only a point. I mean, Charlton. They're trying to... That is, a, that is a relegation battle. One day, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? I mean, your job will be at risk, but that'd be great for YouTube. If you were one of them teams, the drama that had involved, it's going to be exciting to see what happens at the bottom end, isn't it? Welcome to the Trillion Trophy Stadium. Should we just call it St. Andrews? Um, big game. Massive game. We could win a trophy. We're already up, which is great. I want a trophy. Um, pretty much the same team as last time-ish. Obviously, Munier's back, and he's fit. Hopefully, he's a difference maker today. And uh, men's uh, my good centre-halves injured. So, Mr. Hugh, oh, oh, he's going to be playing instead. Come on, boys, let's do it. Here we go, coming out on the pitch, looking lovely in our yellow kit. Look at the, this stadium's quality, I like it. I like the difference in the stands. Um, I had someone in a recent video, it was one of my Barca videos, so I don't know if they don't know what Football Manager is and they just come, they found my video and come to it for that reason. What's going on here? Great highlight. Um, and they're basically laughing at it, saying... Graphics are shit compared to FIFA. You ever played F Manuel Munier? Difference maker. Yeah, it's an episode one of Barca, and he's basically trying to say it's crap, the game, because FIFA Manager 08, which is 12 years old, has got better graphics. Maybe it has. But I'd rather play Football Manager without graphics and just read the text, wouldn't you? Than play FIFA Manager, which had no depth and is a load of crap. I mean, when you can't compare the two games, it's like people comparing Minecraft. It's like a GTA player watching Minecraft could tackle um, and saying Minecraft shit because the graphics are crap. But Minecraft's definitely not shit because it's been in the top 10 game sales forever. My nephew plays it, not because of the graphics, because of the gameplay and the depth to it. Same thing here. This is not FIFA. It really annoyed me. Someone um, else has spotted it and gone it as well and give him a load of grief. Stupid. Look at that. That was some good football then, wasn't it? Were you watching? How good was that? Now, I don't think you'll mind me saying, but my friend Limo, who is a new Twitch football manager streamer, you probably heard me uh, bigging up his 24 hour stream, which he, he earned over a grand of that day. Um, football manager have offered to let him put his company, his mental health company, in next year's game on an ad board, picture and moving like this. How good's that? Oh, we're doing this. No, it's disallowed. How good's that? Great exposure for him. And what's good is when you click an ad board, it takes you to the website. So, you know, if you're struggling with your mental health, you might be playing football manager, you might see the ad come up, click it, and they might give you the help that you need. And most of my videos, quite a lot of them, I think this series has links to Lee's Twitter and his mental health company uh, in the description. It is just a charity. I don't make any profit. He's helped loads of people. He's a good bloke. So if you are struggling, because I know a lot of people are this year, with mental health, give Lee a shout. Even go and follow him and follow his Twitch because his, his FM channel is all based around cheering you up and being positive and he, he puts out promotional videos and he gives you help and advice as well. And he's funny. And he has a laugh and a beer. He's a good lad. Do you know what? We have a good team today. Why can't we do this in the last one? Here's Mounier. Look at him. We need to sign Mounier, don't we? We need to try and buy him off Southampton. There you go. 3-0. Look, we are putting this pressure on. End of the first half and it's just non-stop. County pressure. I like it. It's Clarky. They want the title. They know they messed up in the last game. They know it. Well, it's half time and Fulham are drawing. Nil nil. Exciting stuff. Exciting. Because if it stays like this, we're getting a trophy. Come on, boys. Come on. Fulham, please don't score. So, yeah, this series is all about me. I want to do something I enjoy. Like I said, I know it's not, you don't get the most views compared to, say, like Barcelona Episode 1 got 22,000 views. I don't think this entire series has 22,000 views. But I love this. And I hope the neutral out there in you, I can make you like a team like Stockport. I think it's fun. I love the county. I love it. And I'm going to try and do this all the way up to FM21, whenever that's going to be. Apparently, now I've heard 
it could be December. It normally comes out in November. I think they're saying it's going to be delayed a month than normal, which is December. Wow. So I've got to drag this game out for a few more months. Although I will be having a bit of time off when my second son is born. Right, I've made three subs just to give three lads a uh, game. Williams, Robinson and Turner are coming on. One defender, a midfielder and a striker. I mean, I can't see us losing this game in 10 minutes. If we did, it'd be a miracle. Birmingham just haven't got anything in the locker, have they? Nothing. What I do have, though, is some good players here, you know. I'm going to give them a chance in the Prem, just have to plug some gaps. I'm going to try and spend no money. If we can survive that first season without spending any money. Or maybe maybe 100 grand here, 100 grand there, John, pretty cheap players. I'm not going big. I'm going to try and loan in the maximum I can. And pick up some freeze, hopefully, and give lads a chance. And if we can just about survive and build them finances, then anything can happen that second season, can't it? Put it into the club. Actually, maybe invest in some players. Quite exciting. Because a lot of these, there's a lot of regions out there now that are going to be coming to the end of their contracts. And that's my favourite thing. I mean, you can pick up regions. <sighs> Come on, nice bit of football. We've kind of got off the boil, haven't we? We, like, we feel like we've done enough. Can we finish it off with another goal? Yo! Got busy with the corner and we scored. I didn't think we were going to score, so we weren't going to say anything then. But well done, Chris Turner. We're picking up a goal, kid. Ah, come on, clock. Come on, clock. Come on, clock. Come on, clock. <gasps> All right. Championies, championies. You having that? Do you know what? I think that's a cracking achievement. Love my tactic. Love this, these boys. We've had ups and downs this year. I've lost players. I've had injuries. And somehow this team has scraped it through and bounced back from that disappointment last year. Wow. <laughs> going, we're going to the Prem as champions. So this is the final table. Uh, it doesn't fall and go up and then obviously got the playoffs to play. Be interested to see who comes up out of that. Big teams. I mean, look at them teams that haven't made the playoffs. And we've gone up as champs. Derby, Sheffield, West Ham, Sunderland, Villa, Birmingham, Huddersfield, Blackburn, Watford, Swansea, Hull, Borough, Card. All these teams could be in the Premier League. This is a tough league. And do you know what? It's a fun league. And I will miss it. But I'm looking forward to that money. So Portsmouth are coming up. I know there's a few of you, some good subscribers of mine are Portsmouth fans. So that's nice to see. Wasn't Pompey in the Premier League beat Brentford they are unlucky aren't they Brentford just can't do it and um, so congrats to Portsmouth over to the Premier League though and it's Southampton and Bristol City and Sheffield United they're going to be going down hopefully we can do better than Sheffield United and get more than 23 points but Reading survived with 32 so that you always say you want 40 don't you but you could survive in the 30s it's going to be interesting for those of you that wonder Arsenal beat Chelsea 3-2 in extra time in the Carabao Cup and it breaks my heart to say it Breaks my heart. <laughs> but Liverpool beat United 2-1. And I'll be honest with you, this, this month, like we know, it's probably going to be December by the time FM21 comes out. So there's a couple of months left of this. A lot of time for me to hopefully lay the groundwork. We need to stay in the Premier League and one day, maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, me and you will be cheering County lifting an FA Cup. These are the medals for winning the league. And even though Fernandez, I don't think he's on there, I'm pretty sure you only have to play one game, it says. They're sending him a medal in the post. He deserves one. What he's done for us over the last two seasons. Now, I wanted to show you a few other little bits, but I think I'll save them for our Premier League Summer Special Edition. Uh, Livecom's definitely going to be whoever we're playing in the Premier League. First ever Premier League game, we should share that together, no matter who it is. Even if it's Liverpool away and we get tonked 18 0, we'll share it. But just give me some money. Obviously, 30 million is a lot, and we haven't got that, but we will have by the end of the season because you will just make insane amounts of money. I've got an insane amount of wage budget. This is going to be exciting. I uh, don't know when the next episode will be, though. So there we go. That is the end of the episode and the end of the season. We've got a lovely little trophy on the chair, and you go and put it in the cabinet. Um, buzzing. Absolutely buzzing with that. Hopefully, you are too. And you're going to come back for episode 25. Wow. Uh, we'll be in the Prem. We'll have our opening day game. Hopefully I can do some good business. Um, I am working a lot, but then it's been a long weekend, so I'm hoping Friday, the following Friday, if you're watching these live, will be when this uh, the next one comes out because I've got um, another Hansa Rostock rebuild episode to make as well. Nearly finished that season. Hopefully that will come out the day after this, maybe. 
it's just one of them week one week a month is tough for me to make content after battle through because of work but uh thank you for being patient thank you for the support and everything that i do you're a bunch of absolute legends i love every single one of you and this journey just gets better and better doesn't it hey county fans done it stay happy stay safe and booed i'll see you next time